Hello friends and welcome to Global Defense. In today's episode, we are going to discuss that the China has become the largest exporter of combat drones globally. So the one of the main factors that why Chinese drones are selling like hotcakes is because of the price factors. They are much cheaper as compared to the drones offered by the other countries, comparing to, for example, US made drones. So in recent years, we have seen that the Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, Myanmar, Iraq, Ethiopia, some of the uh, these countries and uh, their militaries uh, across the globe are basically purchasing Chinese combat drones and they are using them in the battlefield. For example, in the war in Yemen, the Saudis have basically used these drones quite effectively. When we talk about Iraq, the Iraqis basically claim that they use Chinese drones to carry more than 260 air raids against the ISIL targets as of mid-2018 to with a success rate of nearly 100%. So the Iraqis use them against the ISIS. In Myanmar, the military also used these Chinese drones against the civilians and ethnic armed groups which are opposing the government. Then Ethiopia is being using the Chinese drones, the Iranian drones, as well as the Turkish made drones. And they basically pushed back the rebels who tried to destabilize their government. And these rebels wanted to overthrow the government in Ethiopia. So Ethiopian prime minister basically used the, these drones in 2021. When we talk about the other buyers, they, these include basically the Morocco, Egypt, Algeria and uh, UAE's. Pakistan and Serbia are also using the Chinese drones. These Chinese drones are basically used for intelligence gathering as well as they can fire air-to-surface missiles. In the last 10 years, China basically delivered 282 combat drones to 17 countries, making it the world's largest exporter of these uh, UAV drones. When we make uh, the comparison with the United States, uh, which uh, basically manufactured the most advanced UVs in the world, the US also only delivered 12 combat drones in the same period in the last 10 years. And they were delivered to the France as well as to the United Kingdom and some of these drones were leased to the Indian Navy. But when we look at the market share, the US is still the largest exporter of unarmed surveillance drones. Chinese government invested a large amount of funds into the drone programs. According to Chinese president, uh, these drones are basically changing the world class uh, standards and as well as they are basically changing the war scenarios. So China is basically planning to develop more intelligent uh, drones equipped with ad advanced artificial intelligence. So advanced capabilities like drones can help the countries to conduct missions uh, beyond their uh, borders as well uh, without risking their military personnel. The same tactics were used by the United States. China had been effectively using its surveillance drones uh, against the Taiwan. Chinese military aviation experts also think that uh, if the war breaks out against the Taiwan, then drones would be the uh, first uh, choice of weapons which the Chinese can use against the Taiwan. Because these drones can overwhelm and exhaust the air defense system of the Taiwan. We have seen the same example in Russia as well when the Russians used uh, the Iranian-made drones against the Ukraine and exhausted their air defense systems. Chinese drones also have the capability of electronic warfare. The K Hong 4 is nearly identical to US made MQ 9 Reaper, while the popular Wing Long 2 is similar to US built MQ 1 Predator. China is also developing the Wing Long 2 and 3 uh, UAVs. So, these uh, UAVs are more faster than the American uh, UAVs and they can also carry more weapon payload. When we talk about the price factor, the CH4 and the Wing Long 2 are estimated to cost between 1 million and 2 million, while the Reaper American drones cost 16 million and the Predator uh, cost basically 4 million. This is one of the reasons that why uh, the government around the world are purchasing the Chinese drones. They may not be at the same power uh, as compared to the American drones when talk about the advanced technologies, but uh, they do perform the functions which are required by the countries which are purchasing these chi Chinese drones. Then there is a payment issue which, uh, in which the China basically uh, offers flexible payments, uh, payment terms and conditions which makes it uh, very easy for the North African countries which are not rich enough and cannot pay the cash uh, instantly. So China basically also offers a barter systems as well uh, against their natural resources like the minerals. And some countries are also purchasing Chinese drones because uh, of the sanctions imposed by the United States. So America basically restricted the sales of its combat zone and uh, combat drones, citing the missile technology control regime and agreement established in 1987 to limit the proliferation of platforms capable of delivering chemical, biological, and nuclear weapons. So America also denied requests from the uh, Jordan, Iraq, and the UAE, forcing these countries to buy the Chinese drones. Chinese impose very few restrictions on end user usage. So it means that the countries which are purchasing uh, these Chinese drones can basically use these drones according to their requirements even if it violates international law and human rights.
the chinese are basically the latest technology and uh, from the concept uh, stage to the induction stage the time uh, period has been reduced to 6 years only so still the american drones uh, have the technological edge over the chinese drones but the chinese are uh, catching up the technology and they are uh, making a major advancement depending on the feedback from the um, buyers who had used these drones in various conflicts so this friends this was about today's podcast i hope you liked today's podcast do inform us about your valuable opinion in the comment box and do subscribe our channel thank you for listening